Victor. I'm here with a new part on the painting tutorial of Mortarion. I know it's been a long series, but I want really to go to the detail. So here we have the wing. This wing has been uh, just prime coat, prime slash coat, with uh, administrating gray, no down stone. Sorry, was with stone burning fur. Okay, this is a little bit more brownish. Uh, this is the starting point, so I just applied this directly on the plastic and now I'm going to do a wash with Aglax Air Shade on all the parts. I want to make the grey a little bit brown and I want to do that because uh, I will do two washes, one now and one later on what we have done this type of lines. I don't know how to call that, if it's like... It's like uh, I don't know. I don't know what is the name. Is that, I guess are the cartilages of the wings. I don't know. So uh, I will. Do, we are going to do first a wash here. Okay. And the way I do that is I do one side. I wait that dries and then I do the other side. So I will do the wash on this side. Okay. And as you will be, I go segment by segment of the wing. You can do over all the wing, but it just helps me to control even better how I do the wash and see that they have the right amount of wash on every segment. This is a, for a big one because I load quite a lot the brush. Okay, but uh, you don't need to be at that stage delicate at all, so you can go quite straightforward. Okay, you can even use a bigger brush that I'm using here. So I will do the wash and I'll show you. I, I'm back once I have done the two sides, not too much to explain here. So once we have applied the wash on both sides, as you can see now, the next step is to apply the terracotta color. So I'm going to use Tuzgur Fur, and we are going to apply this on all this. And again, I don't know how to call this type of I don't know really the the this type of things. Okay, so we are going to like it apply on all them as and as well as well on the thin ones. Okay, no will be very noticeable, but as I said. We are going to do a second wash with Aglax Air Shade to make them look more cl closer to the grey. Okay. The wash is also helping a lot to see the texture and it's helping a lot to see all the details of the wing. Okay. We are going to play this as well here on the thick part. And I like to leave, although it's not needed, you can cover them, but I prefer to leave where the corrugate is visible without painting to make it visible once I need to apply the, the metallic. So as you can see, I'm going to apply that on both sides of the wing and I will be back. So this is how they are looking right now, having done all these things, and we are going to use now again, uh, the thing that was missing is, and I wanted to share with you, I'm going to use the same color to do the blisters, okay? This one we have to go carefully and pick all the blisters. When we have these blisters like here that have this type of thing around, I'm just touching the blister okay so and then we just did a small one so this is just a matter of being passion okay and touching all the blisters okay and I use the same it was the same color as we did for the things that is uh, to for okay, here we have very small ones okay something like that 
Okay, I will I will keep doing that off camera. But first, I want to share another thing. Is uh, now I'm going to use Bugman's Glow. Bugman's Glow is a very dark flesh. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit of gradient on these things. Okay, and to do the gradient, I apply Bugman's Glow on the part that is closer to the body. This is this part here. Okay, here I will apply. It's not too much different, it's a little bit lighter. Okay, and we apply. On both sides, of course. little bit, not too much, I only want to put, use the woman glow very at the base okay, and I will do the other side Something like that, just a little bit. Okay. Don't worry if sometimes it looks too evident. And then I will go to the other extreme and I will apply. Dumble brown, okay, and this is to make the finishing of these things darker, okay. And you will see when you apply this on top of the skin, on, on, on top of this color, it is not that contrasting. So we start with the extreme and we'll let it fade out. We glaze it at the end. Again, it's to make. And then we are going to do all these small things. And it's. This is really optional, but I, I really like to do this type of I think this adding a little bit you want you can skip this step but I think it's adding value here you can see I did a mistake I did thick, this thicker than it really is we are going to correct this later on when we do the next steps The on flying creatures, the wings are maybe one of the most important things. Sometimes more important than the face or the main body. The wings is the first thing that the people see. So it's the part. Flying creatures, the wings is one of the elements that I recommend to spend more time. What I mean, if you want to save, save time, save time on the main body or save time on the on the nargles. For, for example, in that case, you can make the nargles simple, but I recommend that you spend time when you are doing the wings. Okay, you see? So I will do the rest, I will do uh, both sides, okay? Uh, I will do the blisters and I back once this is done. So this is how it looks like now, and I'm going to play next uh, Gother Brown on the 
hair. So to, to do the hairy part, I will use Gothel Brown. Okay. We are going to the middle size branch. We just go straight forward and apply Gothel Brown like that. side and we do the other side and we do all the detail hairy. So we do the hair and I'm back once it's done. Okay next I'm going to use iron breaker to do all the corrugate metal, all the corrugate tubes. Okay so I'm going to we will start from this side And I'm going to do as well this part where the tube is exposed. So, I will do all these parts and I will be back. So after applying the metal, if we have dirty some, any part, we clean up with using, then using uh, the um, to score four. Just to be sure that the metal is just on the corrugate tube. It's easy to make the small mistakes. And then I will play, I will uh, use what's called the color. So that's our goal to do these small things. And once we have painted that, we are going to be ready to do the second wash, again with Agua's edge shade. Okay. Okay. So the wash is going to be done in the same way we did the first wash. So we do first one side, we let it dry, and we do the wash on the other side. And I'm going to use a bigger brush for this. So again, I got air shade. Try not to pull the, the shade in any place. And just wash. I will use a big brush for that. So we are going to and this time we want to wash as well. So the only part I will not wash is the this part that will go in later on. So we do it generously, we go all over the wing and we wash everything. Okay? So this time we are going to wash as well. It's important we wash this hair. 
we give an eye shading to the hair ok and we watch this try not to pull so if it's pulling here I, I went too fast and I take a little bit of the gold out of course lesson don't try to go as fast as me and let and give some time to the gold to dry not a problem, I'm going to correct this later on. So we wash the wings, okay, and this will give again definition on this type of, I don't know how to call this pinkish things that we have paint, and yeah, and all the different holes. I like to do second washes because I really want the marks and the holes to go deep brown, deep dark, and when this this help to pop them. And as you can see, I'm trying to not to put my finger on top of the part that I wash. This here, I try to be careful. Okay. And now, as usual, here we need to wait a good amount of time that this dries before doing the next step. Here we have. Okay, so I wait that this dries and I come back later. Okay, now the Agax Air Shade is dry, and next I'm going to apply Reglan Flay Shade around the different push tools that we have on the on the wings so we're going to apply this mainly to give a little bit of reddish color around and, and give more like darker tone looks a lot darker when it's fresh it will will be more integrated once it's dry we're going to do it here, here, we are going to pinpoint all the different, this is too much, so you will put too much, we try to remove, okay, and we apply on the different postons, so here we have, and I think that's all in this side, but we can apply it here a little bit. Here we have the small ones. Okay, and we can go to the other side and we do the same operation. Just turn it from here. Okay, we wet this dry a little bit before uh, to avoid that I am rubbing out the wash and I will come with the next. The only thing we can do, I can apply a little bit of the reddish wash here. This will give also this rusted effect. So yeah, I will do this dry and I'm be back. So 
So next, I'm going to work on doing the effect that the edge of the wings are darker, like if they are born. And first, I'm going to apply dryad bark. Okay, this is to give. Maybe it's quite subtle, but it's to give this effect that the, the borders are darker. Like if they are one, it's more visible maybe on this side. Okay, so we are going to apply first the white bar, and if we have done so many shades, we want to play this also quite thin. Okay, and we are going to apply this on all the different, on all around the holes. Okay and around the edge of the wings. So we'll do it here, we will do it here. Okay, and you can see that is is not super high contrast. Okay. Because this is going to be the transition color to go the darker one and make the transition softer. Okay, and then we do here. I avoid we have to avoid to cover any darker spot that we have. And we are going to do this with the next color. Okay. So I apply here. Okay. So at this point I guess you you get the idea. Is to add this brown. And when the eyes you see that is much less visible. So we want to apply this. Dwyer bark all over the edges of the wings. And are well around this type of holes we have there. Over here I will not cover Completely the dark part. Okay. So I will keep doing that and I'm back. What is this button? This is how they look like now. Okay, with the first green camera it's difficult to see that, but this part is much brown. And now I'm going to use a uh, Rhinos height. Okay, it's less pastel and will give more contrast. But we are going to apply this leaving around it the layer we played before that was the 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 um Diane Bark. Okay, so let me go to a place where I can show you better how to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this mainly almost like a a thick edge highlight on the end of the wings. Okay, if some part have the shade really dark I will keep it. Okay, here we can go thicker and then so we don't need to be uniform, but we want to give it this sensation of like if the wings are run out on the extreme, right? So I will do here and this one. 
a little Okay, then on the holes we have in the middle, we also apply and we can leave, we have some of these dark spots, I recommend you to leave them, but you have to slow them a little bit. You see, this is the effect that I want to go though. To do, sorry, it's like even this extra darkness at the extreme. It's almost the opposite of highlighting, and because here I'm not highlighting, I just want to give the sensation that the wings are like born or getting a darker tonality around these holes. Okay, so we keep doing that on all the holes and all the edges of the wing. Okay, and I, then I will show you how it looks like once this is done. So this is how it looks like after doing all the dark part around the, the edge of the wings. Okay, I don't know how much visible it is on camera. And next, we are going to work on the boost tools and different highlights on, on the wings. So I'm going to use Cadian Flesh and we are going to touch these things leaving the red the lighter red and we don't need to touch them all so I just I will focus on the biggest ones okay and I will do the same on this type uh, when we have it here like a small okay okay I do it here and I will do the rest later on just to save time and then we are going to take Flate one flesh, okay, and on the biggest ones and some of them, we are going to give a final touch, a final highlight over here. We are going to do something like that. You don't need to do them all again, and the intention is to give to leave some lighter and some darker of this type of I will call it pustules and nuts or things that we have. This type of protuberances that we have on the wings, and this will give. A more lifeful finishing, okay, and the wings will look a little bit more colorful, will make them pop up. You can see that then looks okay, 
you can see, and then I go with Okay, so this is what we are going to do on, on all the wings. So I do that and I come back to show you the final result. So this whole looks like no. Okay. And now next step, I'm going to use a very soft drop brush with downstone. Okay. Uh, we want to do this very soft and very carefully. Okay, so let's start especially on the most start with very little. And it's just to give a little bit of texture. Okay, you see there, it's very subtle, you don't want to do too much with that. Okay. I put very little on my brush. section by section. So I will do this on all the different sections and we have to be careful. I try this is why I try to focus this in the areas where we don't have the washers, I mean where we don't have push tools and where we don't have the brown part. Here, for example, this was too much. It's okay. Let's go this part here, this part here, we do this here, and then I do this. So I don't want to put too much of that. So I do that and I come back once this is done. After doing this soft highlight, I'm going to highlight this the skinny parts, okay? And in that case I will use an old color. It's called Diane Flesh. You can use Cadian Flesh Tone, but I wanted to use something a little bit darker and I don't have the equivalent on that on the new color and I will have at the same time the bookman glow so to to help to soften the transition so we'll have this and bookman glow okay and we are going to highlight a little bit 
the skin parts, okay? Or the parts that are painted in, in skin colors. So, take this. And we go first with Tyan Flesh. We have to thin it down. Highlight especially around the corrugate. So around the web, the, the corrugate tube is exposed, but you don't need to do all around. It's just enough to emphasize this damage. That is. Okay, so we go this part for example. And we can use the same moment to do some small highlights if I did it on this part. This is the, the pink color is the part that or the skin color who you want is the part that we want. Mistake, as I see, we'll go back with the previous color. I don't know what happened here. I think we missed this point, or maybe you put the finger and then wrap off the paint. So you go back with the Highlight here. You see, right horizontal, and then I go back to Bookman Glow. And we when get close to the clear part, we start using the Tayan flash. If it's too evident, we go a little bit with boom and low, and we soften this a little bit. Okay, I 
finish the highlights on all these parts. So you see here to do this and I will be back once I have done this. So this is how the skin looks like. Now uh, I will apply a little bit of Secret Bronze on this thing here. Okay. And now I'm going to go to highlight the hair. To do that, I'm going to use again Bend Blade Brown. And we are going to apply this from top to bottom on the different hairs. The other option is to do a very soft, very brush. Okay. But with a little bit of passion. Definition of this hair is super sharp. So we do this. We can go all the way horizontal like that, applying very little pressure. So, doing this side, then I will do the other side of camera. Okay, I do the other side and we continue. So next, I'm going to do this thing here. What this looks like? I don't know exactly what is that, but I, I. Interpret this as a, some type of substance, liquid substance or viscous substance. And I will use all green camo, so quite a bright, uh, light green. Okay. And I will try to Is this sensation that is a type of mucosity or really uh, and I think this green will give a special touch. It's not going to be super visible once it's assembled, so if you don't want to, but it's almost attached to the base of the wing, it's quite close to the main body. But I thought making like a type of green viscous substance is going to be fun.
Okay. And now I'm going to use um, Dorm Yellow okay, to do the highlights. advantage of the dome is so bright and when you, I'm applying this snow that is still wet so it's helped me to blend the colors and this dome yellow will give this extra vibrant color to this thing Later on we are we will apply here we can apply here a little bit of gloss varnish once the miniature is okay. So the other side let's try to dry a little bit. Here we have. Okay. And just one of the last details that I like to do, I will use no racker flesh. Here is quite, can be, we don't need to do all. So we have to think the wing which direction will go. Then on the inferior, on the part that will go, so the wing will go like that. If this is the top, go like that, and then we'll go like that. So we are going to take the main holes, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully. highlight of the bottom. We don't need to do them all. I recommend to focus on the biggest one. And only on the holes that are not complete. The ones that we did not apply. Okay. This 
this can be a little bit time consuming. But we'll give a little bit of extra texture to this wing. I will do the same, I will keep doing that and I come back for the final part. So now the wings are glued, see how they look like. Okay. See, we need to do, we will need to do some small fine tuning there. Also in the transition I realized that I have to do here some, put some and eliminate a little bit the glue that now it's a little bit visible. But this is how it looks like. So this from the top, you can appreciate both wings, how they will like. Okay, here the light is not, maybe not the best now for this camera. Let me see if I can put some better light. Okay. But you see how this looking like from the top. Okay, so this is the wings. Here we have from the other side. Okay, so another part that is done, and um, we finish here this part that was the wings of Mortarion, and we are going to go next. Next is going to be to do. We need to assemble no. This arm here, if I'm not wrong, because this goes well, this goes like that, okay, and the tube goes there, and the head goes on top of this tube. So we are going to do this now. Uh, this have been is so we are going to the next one is going to be to paint this arm and the. Uh, and the weapon, and the close combat weapon. So uh, keep tuned if you want to see the next part on the painting tutorial where we are going to paint the arms, well, this arm and also this weapon. And yeah, keep, keep rolling. It takes time, it's a long uh, tutorial, but I think it's, there is a lot of things to share here and I really enjoy painting this guy. So that's all for now. So here we have another view. So let me see if I can put a better vision of that. Or well, let's put the top so we can see the wings. So here it is. So that's all for now. Please leave the comments below. Let me know what do you think about the color of the wings and this combination of flesh with this uh, brown -ish color. And yeah, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching.